guys. Welcome to Opalaka, a city in northwest Miami that is the site of the largest Moorish architectural revival in the Eastern Hemisphere. this city within a city has a storied history that is really pretty incredible and I thought it was well worth a visit for us to come out here and for me to show it to you take a look for yourselves I'm standing in front of a building whose architecture is very reminiscent of the 1001 Arabian Nights and with good reason because this city was developed with that specific style in mind. And this building here actually served as the original city hall back in the 1920s. The city Opalaka takes its name from a seminal word meaning high hammock, which you can see they have plenty of those still here today if somebody blindfolded you and dropped you here you probably wouldn't guess you were in florida but you would think that you were possibly in some kind of a desert oasis or you know somewhere in saudi arabia you'd still see the courtyard here and how authentic this structure must have looked especially back in the day in 1925 when it was first built. So a developer by the name of Glenn Curtis, who was an aviation pioneer, spearheaded the project to put this city on the map. And with this Middle Eastern themed architecture, a 1001 Arabian Nights replica here in Dade County. And this structure right here served as the original city hall. And it actually stayed in use as the city hall all the way up until 2009, at which point they abandoned it. Fitting in with that whole 1001 Arabian Nights theme. Even the streets, Shaharazad, carry through the name of the Arabian Nights. Examples of the exposed limestone that they used to uh, help build this. You can see those towering minarets, an architectural feature very common in the Moorish style. Let's go check out some of the other buildings, guys. It almost looks like an old stable or something with those barn doors. But you can see the style here, the textured walls. There's no mistaking this. It's Moorish architectural revival style. Shahadazad! I've always wanted to say that. This is the perfect spot to say it. Keep in mind, guys. These buildings are about 100 years old. Developed in 25, finished in 1926. Therein lies part of the problem and the reason for its unfortunate and quick demise. Here's another example of minarets. And you could see how they were, you know, gonna wall off sections and put other buildings to, to really make this a uh, Arabian Nights themed city.
see these folks are here for not only checking out this incredible site, but also taking care of business. I'm not sure if this is like an immigration thing or driver's licenses. It's obviously some kind of a city process here people are going through. It's the Opalaka Regional Service Center. So, I'm sure what folks are online here for. Is this for driver's licenses? What is this for? Anybody know? No? What's that? Oh, okay. Reminds me of the pavilions that they have at Epcot. But these are obviously much more authentic and original. Okay, so I just got this scoop, guys. This uh, line here, these folks are waiting to get in to talk to folks that can help them out for children's services. You, buddy okay um there's nothing else like the size of that that's around here there's that building that's on the corner you got, I the, you got the triangle but you got to be very careful with that area bro. okay yeah. even during the day yeah i would suggest man if you're, if you're going there man just be real careful man there's been a lot of shootings and there's oh, a lot nah. of drug activity you yeah, know i appreciate that, that they may think you're trying to get something exactly or, you know, and they see cameras and yeah stuff, so. you know so just be careful but there is a a, a building that has that same style uh, over there uh, on Alibaba and um, Duval, or if, you, if it's Tutu Avenue, if you get to Tutu Avenue and Alibaba, just keep going east and you'll see it. It's right along the park there. Okay, I should be good over there? Yeah, just be real careful. Man. I will. Okay, I appreciate careful. that. No Thank problem. you so much for the information. Take care. It's really nice. And he also told me to, you know, keep my wits about me um, because they have had a rash of recent crime incidents. So obviously I'm going to try my best to do that. But um, he was mentioning that there might be some other stuff to see. Even this modern day building, you could see how it tries to carry through that same architectural style to keep in with the city. I'm not sure if that's a school or some other kind of official building. Well, let's take a drive down some of these streets and uh, show you how the flavor of even the homes uh, kind of carries through with that Moorish revival architectural theme. Look at this one. Here we are on Baghdad Avenue. That always reminds me of I Dream a Genie. So this is the spot of the original railroad that passed through here back in the day when all of this was being developed. And now Tri-Rail actually runs through here to make a stop for local commuters. Let's go see if we can find any original structures that still remain as part of this railroad. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I like that. Oh, you like that? That's my little GoPro. How are you, sir? I'm glad to have Good, good. So this was originally part of a railroad that ran through here? I don't know. I hear that that building right here used to be uh, um, the station a long time ago. That was the old station back That's in the 1920s? I, yeah, because there was a man in his 90s that come here and told me that. Is it open? Can I go look at it? It has nothing to do with us over here. Nothing to do with this? No, I, I, I think uh, the city man might be taking over or something. Okay. We have nothing to do with it. I'll just go take a look and see yeah, if I, no. This is Tri-Rail now, right? Yeah, this is Tri-Rail. Okay. You, you read about Alibaba and the 40 Alibaba Ali and the 40 And they named yeah. the street here Alibaba. So this is Alibaba we're on right here. Yeah. Named after that Can you imagine? famous novel and then yeah. movie. Wow. Yeah. Alibaba was a, 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 um, a crook. It was a crook, huh? Yeah, you remember? Uh, you know what? I have to watch. Well, there were 40 of them, right? 40 thieves running around somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> you like that? All right. Thank you, my friend. Yes, you're Appreciate right. it. Let's 
So there it is, guys. Look at this history that we're looking at here. This was the original railroad station that they have fenced off now. But you can see it still says Opalaka, Florida there. And considering this is over 100 years old now, at this point, it actually doesn't look too bad. Let's see if I can, I don't know if they're gonna want me to walk there. Oh, it says do not enter track area, so I guess I shouldn't, but just wanted to give you guys this perspective and show the building to you from here. Looks like this fence opens up to a parking lot behind it, so I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer. This is the train depot. Just imagine all the early Floridians that uh, actually made their way onto this station. And back in its day, back in its glory, how, how beautiful this building must have looked. You can see the domes here following through that Middle Eastern look and architectural design. And even the mosaics that border the windows here so beautifully. Those domes that you see atop a lot of the buildings, almost all of the buildings have them. And then these castle-like rooftop structures, now, those are classic characteristics of that Moorish design that you can still see here today, proudly. So you could see that they replaced the old original benches with these newer ones. But back in the day, this would have been filled with people waiting for their train to come in and get on it and possibly go further south. Loved ones waiting for others to show up from parts north or west. A lot of history here, folks, right under our noses. Onward and upward. like there's some kind of an Arabian mural over there. Let's go check it out. I've told you guys time and time again, that South Florida, particularly Miami, is filled with murals that grace the walls of a lot of buildings down here. And uh, you know, it's great to just stop and take it all in and really appreciate this fine artwork. It helps add to the flavor of the community. See another building right up ahead. One of the many that still remain. And this one has a really good example of a large dome right atop the roof, flanked by a minaret. Even the power line poles are adorned with that Moorish style rising up along the poles. Every little touch was thought of. So this is certainly one of the original buildings dating back to 1926. So now this is the Logan Executive Center or Hurt Building. Look, it's, it looks like it's part of a uh, health network here. Look at the absolute beauty of this building with these sort of desert palms in front, standing guard. There's the minaret. You can see with the crescent moon and another dome right here. Well guys, Glenn Curtis certainly had a great idea when he came up with the concept of developing a city that would take on the image of 1001 Arabian Nights, bringing that charm and old world feel right here to Miami. 
Unfortunately, it didn't last long. In 1926, the real estate market went belly up here in Florida. And to make matters worse, the great hurricane of 1926 struck that same year. So with everything together, it made it impossible to continue and finish the project that Curtis had in mind. As a result, many of these buildings were just left uninhabited. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this authentic tour of Opalaka and the City of Arabian Nights that wasn't. Till next time, from Opalaka, this is the Barefoot Vlogger on Alibaba, saying stay well, stay tuned. Any genie bottles anywhere? No. Shahadazad! Open sesame!